What's up everybody? We're gonna be doing another video here. This one is actually almost completely instigated by Ryan, so I'm gonna have him introduce what uh, what he's got here. Facebook and Instagram have been bugging me about this for a very long time. <laughs> I got one of the Doomsday Tackle Company's rod and bag deals. It was, you get the rod and the bag free, basically. Not you, the you, rod. You don't free. get the rod. You pay for the rod and then you get the bag for free. So the rod was $149. Yep. Which actually isn't a bad price for a good fishing rod, anyway. $149, not too bad. But then you get $100 uh, worth of gear, basically. Yeah. And. And we did check what he got, unless we missed one package, which we might have as far as when we were counting them, was worth roughly $97.50. So there's some give or take there because we averaged the prices. So it is right about $100. Yeah. So if you're paying $100 for it, and honestly, we probably were off a little, so you're probably getting Absolute, that. Yeah, I felt like it was a screaming deal. Yeah. We've never fished this, this company before. So some of these are kind of new. I mean, not like we've never seen baits before, but some of these are new bait styles for us. So we can't honestly tell you like, you know, what has worked for us in the past, but they have some cool different styles here. These reapers are kind of like a like a beaver bait. And they have like a trailer. They kind of so on the package and they kind of tell you what you how you can rig them. I would, um, the, one of the baits that they got is the sea shad. These are really cool in my opinion. They got the they have um, their logo in the eye and then you know just really well done plastic injecting and everything <laughs> like that. Let's say I love the colors on all of them that we got. Got a couple different colors. We were noticing that these have what a lot of people are turning to, which are kind of the synthetic material in the belly that has a met metallic flash to it. I've heard that you are, it's also supposed to help your hook retain in the fish mm -hmm. without ripping the, the uh, actual soft plastic. But I've also heard from the other side is that the hooks come out of it pretty easily too. So that's not really like a bad thing. I don't know how well it really works for saving your soft plastic, but something I heard. So he got, what three or four different styles of baits four. and then they've came in three different colors and i right? think one of them had four different colors yeah i think we got four of the log and dragons wagon dragons Lagging. yeah so these lagon dragons are kind of like a stick bait jerk walk drop shot it something like that that'd be weird to work dirty gill with it too. yeah what color is that water and one red uh tennessee shad this one's Dirty Gill. We got huh. two of the same. You got one. two of the same, yeah, Dirty Gill. We also got these Doomsday D-Hop Bullfrogs. This no. is the one that Larry has was already super excited about. <laughs> yeah. They don't come pre-hooked, so you have to Texas rig your own hook in there to make it weedless, but... Was it like a hollow body? Or was it like um, a soft plastic? It's foam, I believe. Durafoam. Cause I, I, was oh. thinking, I was also thinking like getting those double hooks kind of just like the yeah frog the replacement like frog ones hooks. Yeah. yeah yeah I'm sure you could well I don't know how well they'd fit around it but maybe well we're gonna find out we're gonna find out the hard way yeah no these are cool yeah um yeah these are a little different from a lot of frogs that you'd see because they have the two trailers yeah they've got the actual they've got some little front <laughs> arms <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Yeah. I already know Larry's like all over these, man. He yeah, that's like the only thing so that I'm really interested in. I mean, everything is awesome, but so if got there's a frog, everything the is awesome. Like that. <laughs> Doomsday Reapers, a couple different colors here. We got two of the cinnamon, and I believe we got two of the dirty gill. I don't know. Then we got these uh, Devastators, are like the trailers. And they've got a really long body and then like kind of short appendages. Just kind of a different style. They're really thin appendages, too, so they probably have a really like finesse move in the water. So that's kind of cool. Would this be something you would do again? Oh, absolutely. It's what? definitely cool. This and then so. the rod here is a seven foot four medium heavy fast action bait casting. And I paired it up with a Piscafun torrent. Yep. In the 7.1. <laughs> it won't focus, but. <laughs> <laughs> something cool about this that I was actually thinking about recently when I for when you sent us the pictures of it is it reminds me so much of like old style baseball yeah like, like I thought that's exactly what I thought when I opened it up it's pretty cool I like the colors myself the finish is really nice too like they actually have like these little metal rings here um, the, this is the whole adjustment seat is this piece of cork I'll take this off for just a second and then uh, when you tighten it down it's got this little ring that says Doomsday Tackle Company. 
Um, it's got exposed rod down here, which you know I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't not have it. It feels weird not having that. Yeah. Like I, I have one rod like that, and I just I hate using it. It's just weird. It's like it. I don't feels... feel like I have a, a good grip. Yeah, and like you don't feel the like sensitivity quite as much of the rod if you don't have your finger right on the blank. So this torrent isn't something that we've used yet. I have a couple of sparks, and I really like them. The torrent is one step larger size profile wise. It's got a bigger handle. It has 18 pounds of drag instead of 16 and a half that I think the 12 spark has. Rings. Huh? 12 or? This one was seven plus one, and then mine's eight plus one. And then it does have adjustment on the side, unlike uh, one of their other reels. Yeah, I mean, it's a $40 regular price. Yeah. So a $40 reel, which is um, impressive for what you're getting. Yeah, the Piscifun reels are growing on me. Oh, this one's only six. Mine's, that's a, this is a six plus one. Mine's a so, five. Yeah. Mine's a seven plus one. Oh, sorry. At first, I wasn't a fan of it because I'm a fancy guy. I use a little bit more expensive reels in. Every time, not, not every time, half the time I would just backlash because I would try to just whip it. And I don't know, once I realized just to throw it and not whip it, I'm becoming a fan of it. One day we were fishing and Larry goes, I kind of like these reels. And I was like, I thought you didn't like them. And he goes, no, I'm starting to like them. They keep me humble. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty good. I think they're good reels. Obviously, it's not a Shimano yeah, DC. Right. But. And honestly, like throwing your spark, that's kind of what drew me towards them. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to give this one a shot since you had that one. Yeah, I have actually been thinking about getting they, one of these for a they while. They have like but. four or five if I remember right. Yeah, I think as far as like regular, uh, you know, bass style bait casters. And they do have ice fishing reels and regular spinning reels as well. And they have um, like steelhead style casting reels, like yep. the big round yep. ones. And so. they do sell rods as well. Just, I'm not sure how many they have. Yeah, they have pretty much one for each kind. They have yeah. a well, there, there's a few, but yeah, they're, these are pretty good. The yeah. only thing that I saw is Doomsday only had like two models. Yeah, it's the 47. Can't remember what the other one even was, but was I, it different colors at all? Is it all just? I think they're all the same color. Uh, I I, well, I, to be honest, I didn't go really deep into them because the deal was on these guys. I think that's the 47 is the only one that's this color. I think the other one was a different yeah. color. It might have been black. I'm gonna lie, I kind of yeah. really wanted to find a reel that was gonna be the same color of it, but good like, luck. The, oh, yeah. Thank you for spending stuff. Oh, good stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, like you just said, really good purchase. Uh, lots of bait. Um, Definitely willing to do it again. Yeah. You go on, you order the rod, and then you put the bag in your cart as well, and then do the promotional code at the, at the end when you're checking out. Code. 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 Well, thank you for joining us. No. You got to do it. It's Ryan stuff. Ryan is going to do the well, outro for us here. Thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe. And uh, comment on the videos. Let us know what you guys think. And uh, get out there, get some, do some fishing, have some fun. That's pretty good. I agree, and I second that. See ya. Bye. Deuces. <laughs> well, anything Next. else? Next. 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 Spinny, 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 shake it up. <laughs>